down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm by the cottage room blues, yeah. I wanna. Um, today is the first morning that I am waking up alone in LA. It's kind of nice. It doesn't feel as lonely as I would think it would be, so I think that's really good. It actually feels like really cozy in here and like comfy. So yeah, I did wake up kind of late today. I kind of slept in a little and it's already 11, so I am gonna get my day started very soon. I also wanna get some groceries for the week just here and there so that I'm not eating out as much because we've literally ate out like almost every single meal the time that Serena was here so I'm gonna try to cut back a little on that because there are times where I'm like I'm just not craving anything and it would be nice if I can just like quickly make something at home and then that's it so I'll be doing that today I have my coffee here it's actually really really good I initially didn't think the Trader Joe's brown sugar oat milk creamer was that great but it is so good with vanilla syrup added into it, which is what I do. And it's just like the perfect start to my morning. So yeah, I'm actually trying to figure out what I want for lunch right now. I was thinking about either going to Republic again and getting their kimchi fried rice, or I was thinking about maybe getting Korean food, but I'm not like entirely sure yet. So we'll see where the day takes me, but I'm gonna quickly finish getting ready. So this is the outfit I'm gonna be wearing today. It's pretty comfy and casual since I'm just gonna be running a bunch of errands. But it's this Harley Davidson oversized tee. This is the one that I picked up from Melrose the other week. I've already washed it and it's so big and comfortable. I love it. And then I'm just wearing some biker shorts with it. Some sunnies because it is going to be pretty nice out today. But yeah, I think I'm going to head out to Republic for brunch. So I will take you guys with me. Okay, maybe a change of plans because I just passed Republic and the line is crazy long i guess i didn't realize it was sunday and it's brunch time so we're gonna go somewhere else it's a really nice day honestly and i'm kind of craving yuchen which is somewhere we went last time with serena for ice cold korean noodles so i might do that okay never mind yuchen's close on sundays it's like the universe doesn't want me to eat today or something So I think I'm gonna actually head on over to the beach and the weather's really really nice today so I think it's gonna be decently warm fingers crossed unlike last time but yeah tomorrow is Memorial Day and my friend Alice is actually gonna come visit me so we're probably gonna have a day full of festivities tomorrow I'm trying to get a tan my upper body is kind of darker but my lower half it needs a little bit of work. Three, two, one. Arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Every tear that you cry is worth it in the end. If you just let go and fall into the garden that you grew. downtown LA I'm gonna get some coffee and food sadness the coffee shops closed because it's Memorial Day and now I'm nervous that everything else is closed here 
lame. Hopefully <laughs> we find open. something that's open. Oh, it looks open, some stuff. Yeah, the pizza Okay, place yeah, open. okay, cool. We got the lobster poutine, ceviche, dozen oysters, and oyster chowder. It's really fresh. Yeah. I know. This looks insane. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. It's like fries dipped in cheese and lobster. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, so good. Wow, that's so good. good choice. Taste test. Not bad. Oh, uh, you got the almond macadamia. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's the almond milk, I think. We got Go Get Em Tiger. We were supposed to get brunch here, but I thought it was closed. But it's okay, because we had a really good lunch, and we still ended up getting coffee somewhere. So. Hi guys, so we're getting dinner right now before we go out to a rooftop bar later. <laughs> so we're at Hanbat Sultang. Um, it's like a Korean oxbow soup. It's so good. I really like the soup here. Wow. The radish is good too. You add some onions, the salt to flavor your broth. It's so fast too. It literally came out in like less than a minute, I swear. So we just parked in downtown. About to head over to the proper hotel. But yeah, dinner was so good. It's pretty much fresh cucumber juice with vodka and then there's like a little kick of spice to it. Yeah. Really good though. And you got the passion fruit sub mezcal for a vodka because vodka is better with everything. No mezcal. package in from Revolve. I ordered a pair of shorts that I thought were really cute so I thought I would do a little unboxing. So I've got a pair of girlfriend denim shorts. I ordered it in two sizes because I didn't know which size I would be. Okay honestly I wasn't expecting to like them as much as I do but they're so freaking cute. Also picked up a couple things from Urban Outfitters. So I got this brown, you know, cute little bralette crop top. It's perfect for like the summertime. Also want their white ones, so I'll be on a little hunt for that. Also picked up these Urban Outfitters shorts. I've already tried them on and I really like them actually. And I really like this overline like stitching they have going on so that it creates like some type of contrast. But yeah, I thought I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up recently. I was actually about to go to the gym this morning <laughs> but the traffic is so bad right now because it's like rush hour I guess I don't want to go back to bed and I also don't want to feel like I woke up for nothing so I think I'm probably gonna go on a long walk to get my morning started and then probably head to a coffee shop and work for the day different spot now I just got here to coffee MCO I did come here the other week with Serena and I really liked it it's like a very like working from home environment because it's super spacious they have an indoor and outdoor seating area
Okay guys, I am off of work. It's been such a crazy, stressful day, but it's finally Friday. I haven't really vlogged at all this week just because I've been swamped at work, but look who we have here again. <laughs> she just got here from her offsite company, Thingima Bobbers from Santa Monica. So yeah. It's already seven and we're starving. So we're gonna go uh, get some food in, oh, Izakaya. I think that's in West Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. So we just got here. We didn't know it was a pride parade today. So it's packed straight up. <laughs> So yeah, we're walking over to dinner. There's a lot we, of bars. Yeah. It looks kind of popping out here. Maybe we'll Hang stick around. shop today. It's very like industrial cement wall vibes. We're back in the car. We got the mango pesto rice. It looks pretty good. Mm. Mm. I like this crunchy thing. I don't know what it is. It's like garlic chips now. Mm. Or like lotus chips. Mm. I like the mango. Did you try the mango? No. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I'm glad we got this one. Mm hmm All right, we're gonna go back to row because <laughs> last time we went, things were closed and then we also got there a little too early at first. Yeah. So now we're gonna go back. Hi guys, so I just got back home. I actually just dropped off Alice at the airport. She's flying back home to San Francisco. So yeah, we actually went back to the road. Did a little bit of damage, but we got a lot of good things. I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys because I love watching hauls in general myself. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I picked up was from, I think it was called like Cozy and Cozy, but I got this like green checkered print bag it has like these two smaller handles but if you didn't want to just hold it as a bag you can wear it as like a little tote bag and i thought it'd be super cute it's also like an adjustable strap so yeah i've been literally wearing this all day because it was the first thing i picked up and i feel like you can also wear it cross body which would be super cute as well so it's just easier to carry yeah, I think it's so cute and like simple, but like it throws so much more into your outfit. They were actually having a pop-up shop thing going on. I think it was just like a very big sample sale with a bunch of other like small businesses there. And I think it's running from June 2nd to June 5th. So there's one more day of the sale. I might go back tomorrow. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, the second item I got is this like cropped flannel jacket. Yeah, I love that it's oversized. I absolutely love everything oversized. If it's not oversized, it gotta go. Okay, and the next clothing item I got, I think it might be my most favorite thing that I picked up today. So there are these like black cargo pants and they are 
absolutely perfect. It's literally everything that I've been looking for and been wanting in a pair of pants. First off, I really like the material of the pants. They're kind of like this thinner, kind of athletic-y material, if you guys get what I mean. I also really like this drawstring on the waistband. I think it's super cool. But yeah, I'm gonna insert a little try-on clip of them right now. But yeah, these are the pants. I absolutely love them. Um, the only thing is they are a bit long on me. Like, these are already cuffed up. I mean, I could just get that altered, if anything. But yeah, other than that, I really really like them okay and the last things i got in this haul are a couple rings they were from rise and shine jewelry they're actually all handmade which i thought was really really cool but yeah this is a close-up of the rings i think they're super cute and like perfect for stacking this first one it's like a little signet ring and I can also have like a little thumb ring here because it's fully adjustable. So that is my little haul for you guys. Um, I'm probably just gonna put everything away and I will catch you guys up later. So this is dinner. Um, I pretty much used Trader Joe's chicken fried rice. Added some kimchi to it to make it like a little makeshift kimchi fried rice. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I can't believe this is like, what, my third vlog? Which is kind of sad because that means I only have one more left and I only have one week left in LA. Also, if you guys have not watched my other two LA vlogs, <laughs> You go ahead and watch it. But yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my dinner for the rest of the night and I will see you guys in my next vlog. If you just let go and fall into the garden that you grew, you would finally know that you don't have to be somebody new.